STEM education is all about innovation and ensuring that students today are prepared to tackle the challenges of tomorrow. Whether they go on and become engineers or whether they're entrepreneurs or engaged citizens, science and engineering is all around us and it's absolutely essential that students have the skills so that they can innovate tomorrow. This symposium is all about inspiring teachers and other educators to take STEM principles and STEM concepts back into their classroom, infuse them, and infuse this sort of love of learning, curiosity, and excitement for their kids. The CDE Foundation is one of the co-presenters of this STEM symposium. This is our third year doing the symposium together with the California Department of Education and the California Commission on the Status of Women and Girls. And we have been so privileged to watch this symposium grow. We started out with 2,000 people three years ago, and this year we have, I think I heard this morning, 3,200 people registered. I am here as Superintendent of Public Instruction for the State of California because I'm a science teacher, and I also know that STEM education, science and engineering education, is key to the future strength of the California economy. So we need to work better in our schools we're implementing new national standards that we've helped develop with other states. California was a leader in setting some new, higher, more rigorous standards so our students can come out of our schools, our high schools and then our colleges, equipped to compete in a very fierce, competitive global economy. We had the idea, let's bring the expert together, the teachers in the field, the teachers in our classrooms. Let's have them work and share their best practices, their best lesson plans, how they excite students at their school, and clone the ideas and get it out there. And then have our teachers here go back motivated and excited to their classrooms and get students motivated and excited about education. I myself am a science teacher, I've been an eighth grade middle school teacher for 25 years and I'm actively involved in implementing the next generation of science standards and as I do that I can see more and more the connections of technology, engineering and math to my students understanding the science concepts, collaborating with each other, using them all as a tool to get a real understanding of concepts at a much deeper level. So when all of those things come together, students get a more real-world, full view of what is happening with science, technology, engineering, and math as a whole and not as separate topics. As the director of the Maker Certificate Program at Sonoma State University, I'm hosting a makerspace, which not only has hands-on activities like circuit stickers, laser cutting, 3D printing, and even fun low-tech stuff like soldering and Play-Doh and glue and fun, fun, fun activities, um, but I'm also here to promote the latest research in making. Each table is dedicated with teachers and administrators and nonprofit organizations dedicated to making that will sit down with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis or even a group basis to say, let's dive into this. Not only are you learning the tools of making, but also the practices and the culture. Collaborative, sharing, open sourced, feedback and critique, creativity, innovation, and documentation. We have a serious issue and we've made it the focus of this conference. We want more women in the STEM fields to come out to be our future engineers and scientists. We want more students of color, African American students and Latino students. They're sorely underrepresented. We have rich diversity in California, but they're not represented in the STEM college going students. They're not represented in the STEM hires, the STEM workforce, the way they should be. Diversity and inclusion is so important in California because many of our students come to school with another language spoken at home. The majority of our students are kids of color, Latinos, African American students. And it's these kids that we also need to prepare for the science, technology, engineering, and math field so that we make sure there's no gap in uh, filling the vacancies in these careers, but also the collaboration, the problem solving, the communication, the critical thinking, analytical thinking, so that we remain globally competitive, economically and morally. STEM education is fun. It's not just for eggheads or you know, so-called you know, geniuses. It's really for everybody. And our big theme this year is let's get the underrepresented students, young women, and our African-American Latino students to be part of the STEM excitement and the STEM career pathways. All these workers and adults are saying, we want people that can come and work as a team, can work creatively, 
can work with real, real life problems that don't have one right answer, that obviously are not connected to a multiple choice test. And so to have inquiry based, project based learning that's hands on, that's challenge based, really lends our students to not only create the dispositions we want of workers, but also of citizens. This isn't about just getting a job in the future, this is about excelling. Not only is it self-fulfilling um, and gratifying, but it's also in a sense empowering that I can be an engineer, I can be a scientist, I can be a mathematician, and that's why STEM education is important.